morning, everybody. This is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing a video overview of the ETFs. Why do we look at the ETFs? It's not because we like to look at a ton of charts. It's because this is a fact. Leading groups produce leading stocks. Leading stocks produce leading groups. By looking at these ETFs, we can see where there's strength, potential strength, but also areas to avoid. So let's take it from the top. We're taking a look here at BOTZ. US, this is um, robotics, and you can see this is lagging. This is, it's below the 200 day. The green line is the 50 day, and the purple line is the 200 day. This is a simple maxim I taught for years at IBD meetups. Uh, the air is better above the rising 50 day. It's kind of simple, not a lot of leadership here. Move on, say, oh, my turn. We don't play the mic game. We try to stack the deck in our favor. Here's the next one. Cloud computing's picking up a little bit. Had a decent day here. It's got some tops here, but it's not in a real leadership position still at this point in time, so be cautious with that sector. Diamonds picked up a little bit. The Dow Diamonds are starting to finally pick up a little bit. That's the Dow 30. It's just nice to see that part of the, you know, maybe rally picking up here a little bit. IBD 50, and this is intriguing. This is still lagging, and I'm not criticizing IBD. It's just that it shows that they're, they're, they're strength, but it's still relatively selective. Okay, this might be a negative, just pointing out what is. It's a great quote. I believe in what I see and not in what I believe. The charts tell us much of what we need to know. This one focuses on the max list stock. It's picking up a little bit here, okay? No real volume on Friday, still below the 200 day, but there are some select max list stocks that are exploding for us. China, there's no power there, leave it alone. Gold miners, there's no power there, leave it alone. I mean, and you can say, oh, maybe it's going to bottom here. Why play the maybe game? I can show, we're going to see charts that are strong now. Why not look for that? So we lose the ego, we get in line with what is. Gold miners, nothing there, and you can guess the next one. Gold, no power there, leave it alone. Te biotechnology, there's no power there, leave those groups alone. Leave those stocks alone. There's nothing there. That's simple. Isn't it great? I love that. Oil was great for a while for us. Energy was huge for us. Great run. But now it's lagging, and it fell again recently. Up a little bit here, but there's no power there. Just leave it alone. <clears throat> By the way, you can always get the name up here. Software technology is picking up a little bit. Technology related. Okay, that's good to see. Something to remember. Medicine, no power there. Leave it alone. Mid cap, no real power there. Leave it alone. Aerospace and defense, oh, that's decent. That's forming a little cup of the base. You could punch up ITA and find out their top 10 holdings. Maybe a couple of those are looking good. Maybe Boeing. I don't know. But you can see this basis forming here. It's kind of a cup with a handle. Okay, and it's above the 200 day. Move on. Home construction's picked up a little bit. This was another great run for us in the home building stocks. Forming a little cup with a handle here. Not in a really great leadership position, just something to consider. IWM still lagging. Small caps, lagging. Leave it alone. Real estate. Again, the name's in the upper left-hand corner right here. U.S. real estate, it's lagging. There's no power there. Leave it alone. Transports, lagging, no power, leave it alone. Airlines, lagging, leave it alone. Regional bankings, lagging, leave it alone. Mid-cap, not a lot of power in mid-cap. Oil services, stay away from it. Pharmaceuticals, leave them alone. Oh, look at this. I mean, team, watch this. And this is for everybody. Oh, oil services, and the name's up there. Oil service, there's no power there, leave it alone. Pharmaceuticals, there's no power there, leave it alone. Oh, look at this. Gosh, I, maybe there's an echo. Did I say that? In this, look at how this is leading. It's been, it's showing strength and it's been showing strength. You see this little base right in here when it was lifting across on volume, okay? Across these tops right here. That's when we first started buying it and it's moving. It was demonstrating strength, bouncing off the 200 day. I showed you a bunch that are still below the 200 day. This was lifting off the 200 day when everything else was languish, languishing. There we go. And that's why we own it and, mass, and maxless stocks. QQQ, same situation. That's the non-leveraged one. It's working nicely, okay? Retail's picked up a little bit. That's good to see. Forming a little cup and a handle right here. I'll draw this for you. And it doesn't need to be fancy, folks. Just connect in the tops. There you go. It's just a clean and simple flat line. What does it need to do? It needs to push through these tops on really good volume. Now, this ETF trades really thin. Be aware of it. Also, it fell on heavy volume heavy volume, and it's rallying up on much less volume. There's not a lot of power in that sector, so be careful with it as far as pricing for volume is concerned. 
Silver, there's no power there, leave it alone. Oh, I could say this, silver is tarnished. How about that? Okay, now we're getting fancy. Uh, steel's picking up, but not, not much power there, not a leadership sector. Semiconductors, look at that picking up. And it's been strong. Look at that lift here. I just showed you a bunch that aren't doing anything. Oh, this is lifting up. Do we own some semiconductor stocks? Yes, we do. It was telling us back here when it was going up, when it's going up. Hey, you might want to look at some of my stocks. And we did. That systemization and it works. It works great. Continue onward. Spiders lifted across this top. Finally, on Friday, on a pickup in volume. What does that tell us? That the rally's spreading out a little bit. That's good to see into the S&P 500. I mean, we know it's in the NASDAQ 100. There's SSO picking up a little bit across that top with a volume pickup. Clean tops here. We'll have to watch that and see what happens. And what does it indicate to us? I'll go back to it. It indicates that the rally may be spreading out to other groups. That's what we want. Solar, there's nothing there. I mean, I just showed you some that look decent. This is nothing. What does it tell us? Stay away from the solar stocks. That's it. We don't have to overthink it. That's what it's doing. Let's continue onwards. Small caps still lagging. Be careful with that is another one. Uh, uranium's picking up a little bit. All right. It's, it's a very special sector group. Okay. But it's acting decent. Maybe looking at some uranium stocks. All right. Or, the, or I need to share this with you. Not necessarily the stocks. You could just buy the ETF if it's a strong one. Flip the coin. U.S. oil. This is another energy ETF. What does this tell you? It's falling on heavy volume. It's down to the 200 day. Leave it alone. Leave the oil stocks alone. Forget them. There's no power there at this point in time. Consumer discretionary is picking up a little bit, but still not a lot of power. Aerospace and defense doesn't look too bad. Maybe Boeing would be an opportunity there. I don't know. Maybe Lockheed Martin. You'd have to double check and see. You could punch up XAR and find out their top 10 holdings. There we go. But it's demonstrating a little power here. Some volume, but not a lot. Okay, there's better ones out there. Biotech, stay away. That's it. Falling, falling, falling. Stay away. Nothing to do with it. Home builders. That, again, this is another home builder. Starting to start showing a little more power again. Oh, look into some of those. <clears throat> Materials, nothing. There's nothing there. Communications. Now, this is picking up a little bit. It fell on heavy, heavy volume. All right. It's rallied back on decent volume. XLC, it's a little loose. Okay. But you might punch up XLC and see what their top 10 holdings are. And again, I'll say this. You don't necessarily have to find the top 10 holdings. If the ETF looks good, you could buy the ETF. I'm not saying buy this yet. It's not in position yet, but it is improving. That's power for us. Energy, stay away. Here's another one. This is why we do this. I think I've shown you at least three energy ETFs now that are saying they're languishing. Avoid energy. That's it. You know what's awesome about what we do? Think about it. This is for everybody. It's great to know areas to look into for potential opportunities to make money. It's just as powerful to know areas to avoid, things to stay away from. And that helps us too. Different sides of the same coin. Financials are starting to pick up a little bit here, and I'll draw the line for you. Clean and simple tops. Perhaps it'll lift through there. It's kind of a cup with a handle right here, folks. XLF, something to maybe look into. Or, if not the financial ETF, XLF, maybe some financial stocks. That's connecting the dots. There you go. Let's continue onwards. Industrials, yeah, it's picking up a little bit. This one, right at the 200-day. This one is OTE, is also. So industrials, okay. What does that indicate? Maybe the rally's spreading out. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, gee whiz, look at that. And what is it? Technology. Guess what are we heavy in? Technology stocks, growth stocks, max list stocks. There you go. And it was telling you, hey, you better look at me. I'm showing some strength. Just looking at the chart. The chart tells us so much of what we need to look at and look into. And then we take it from there. I'm not saying buy it up here, but it's been demonstrating strength for a while, which is why we are heavy in technology. Max list stocks. 
Consumer staples, really not a lot of power, leave it alone. Healthcare, there's nothing there, leave it alone. Yeah, healthcare needs a shot. Okay, bad, you, know, you gotta say it. Here we go, consumer discretionary, some power, but not a lot, be careful with that. Metals and mining, really lagging, leave it alone. Another energy ETF. I mean, I think we've seen at least three now that just look bad, leave them alone. That's simple. Retailing, no power in retail, leave it alone. Software showing a little bit of life, just a little bit of life, but note, goes up on low volume, down on heavy volume, down on heavy volume. There's not a lot of power there in software, but the base isn't too bad. Maybe look into some software stocks, maybe Microsoft, who knows? Well, gosh, let's take a look at the max list stock. So Apple had some clean tops here and it lifted off. The one slight negative is there wasn't a lot of volume on that, but you can see it is improving. It is improving. Is there anything to really do with it right now? Uh, you're kind of chasing price. Here's the weekly. We're going to be real thorough on all this, okay? There's the weekly. Here we go. We'll get to it. And here's the chart. And it lifted off this little shelf right here. This is why I look at weekly and daily, just to help. It's a systemization. It's what I've been doing forever. In fact, one of my favorite templates that I have on this program, weekly on the left and daily on the right. Oh, it just... It's systematizing. You can see the themes faster. There we go. Let's move on back to the daily charts. So there's Apple lifting up a little bit. A little bit extended. I'd be careful buying it here. Okay. So just for what it's worth. Amazon. See this low level base right here? And you see this level base right here? We were buying in here and here. Adding. And that from down here and here, that is a good move. And it's working, and it was telling us to buy it. Simple basis, simple basis. I wouldn't buy it up here, but we're in good shape. Now, what's another plus? Let's dig a deeper on this analysis here. It goes up on good volume, it pulls back on less volume, it pulls back on less volume, and then it lifts off on a pickup in volume on Friday. They're buying it, they're buying it, so we're in good shape. Not saying buy it up here, but it's working. Good entry and trends pay, so we're in good shape. There we go, let's continue onwards. Alibaba, there's nothing there, folks. Leave it alone. I mean, do a compare and contrast. Oh, that thing's going up. I see some green bars. Alibaba, I don't really see much good things happening there at all. Here's an investing maxim for everybody that'll really help you. The air is better above a rising 50-day moving average line. That's the green moving average. Focus on that. It'll make your life better. This it's simplicity. Don't overthink it. Continue onwards. Buy, do, leggy, leave it alone. Google, it's showing some power here, but it's still below the falling 50-day. Here's one negative. This fell on heavy volume, and it's lifting up on much less volume than it fell on. There's really not a clean entry on that. I'd be careful with that, all right? Just lots of overhead supply now. There were people that bought this and got stuck there, and when it gets close to their price, they may sell. Just better fish to fry. There you go. Let's move on. Goldman Sachs forming a little cup with a handle right here, as you can see, had good volume on this bar, all right? Needs to push through here. What's the one thing we'd want to see? Good market, several things. Good market, good price and volume action, push through this line on heavy volume. What's a negative? It's below the falling 200 day, all right? You got to be careful with that. But potential, potential if it pushes through this line in a good market with really heavy volume. That's what we'd be looking for. Let's continue onwards. MasterCard's picking up, but there's really no clean entry there. I mean, you know what? you're not going to see this in any book saying this is what you look for to buy. There's not a clean spot. There was back here, across these tops, but right here, no. So be careful with that. Meta. Meta had a clean base right here, and it's been working for us. And there's another line right here, and I'm going to show you the weekly. We'll refresh this just to make sure. I try to be thorough on this for everybody. You can say, oh, I see kind of a cup with a handle here. Take out the tops of here. Could be a potential buy. Go back to the daily. So what are we looking at? Across this line right there. And I'll draw it for you. It's nothing fancy, folks. That's the kicker. Going across that line with volume. What do we notice? Oh, it's picking up on a pickup in volume. What would be better though? 
made a pretty big move to get here. This is the power of a cup with a handle. I'm going to explain something that most people don't know. We're going to do this from a psychological perspective. Psychology is a major chart, a major function of the chart formation. So you can see it's forming a cup with a handle. All right. So why is a handle useful? It made a big move to get up here. A handle on decreasing volume shows that volume, the selling's dropping off. If the volume's dropping off, that increases the potential that any lift accompanied by volume, it'll push through those tops. Handle gets rid of the last of the, the people that bought it here, gets rid of some of the selling pressure. Maybe this will form a cup with a handle, but just a little again on this tutorial, made a pretty good move just to get to the pivot. All right, so be careful with that, just for what it's worth. Let's continue onwards. I hope that helps you. I used to teach that at the IBD meetups. Microsoft, entry down here, big cup and a handle right here, and it's working. What are we gonna do? Let it work, we still own it. Just letting it work, that's it. You don't have to overthink it. Just get in line with what's happening. Here we go, on down the line. Netflix, little base right here, it lifted off, max list stock, and it's working. It's just trending for us. It's nothing fancy, for. look at the simple base, and it lifted off, and I say it again, it's a max list stock. There you go, and just let it work. Continue onwards, NVIDIA. See this low level base right here? Pushing through there, there's a spot here, and then it lifted off, we bought more, and it's working. It's a max list stock. This stock's been really good to us. And by the way, I don't have pet stocks, although I will tell you this, this is the honest to God truth. If I only have one list of stocks to look at, it's the max list. I'm telling you, there's a lot of research in these stocks, a lot. This, didn't, this list wasn't just put together, but it's working. Now you can say, oh, let's buy some up here. No, the train has already left the station. It's too extended. What's the best thing it could do? I'd like it, I don't know if it will, okay? But it would be great if this could form just a little handle right here, and then you've got another base, right? And I'll draw it for you. Look what you've got here. You've got yourself a potential cup with handle. I'm not saying it's going to do that, but it sure would be nice if it did, and then it lifts off. Again, that little handle would get rid of some of the people that own it from down lower that want to lock in some profits, and then it takes off. That's from a psychological perspective. That's the power of the cup and a handle formation from a psychological perspective. And yeah, I used to teach it at the IBD meetups and it works. There we go. It's a good run. We're just letting it work. Everything's good. Tesla, there's a good lesson for you. You look at this and go, oh, that looks pretty darn good. Yeah, oh, that looks pretty darn good. And it don't look so good. What does it say to you? Leave it alone. There's nothing to do with it. All right, it's below the 200 day. I always said this at the meetups, the air is better above a rising 200 day, the air is better above a rising 50 day. There's just no power at this point in time. Now, am I writing it off? No, it can change and come back eventually. But for right now, there's nothing to do with it. And if you have to look really hard, here's a priceless lesson for everybody. If you have to look really hard to see the pattern, it's probably not there. It's that simple. So leave it alone. Now we do this one. What do you see? I'll go back. Okay, that looks okay. That, that's no good. Oh, what do you see there? I already drew the line. It's a cup with a handle. I've already got the price alert set from Friday. We're ready for this cup with a handle. Pushing through these tops with volume, good price action, and a good market. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.